this video, we're going to look at how we can divide a polynomial by a monomial. Dividing a polynomial by a monomial, we have to distribute that division onto each term. In other words, we have to divide each term by the monomial. A common error I see people do, don't do this, this is bad. Do not ever just start canceling out terms when you're dividing. If there is any adding or subtracting in either the numerator or denominator, you cannot start canceling things. Instead, we have to do just this. We have to divide each term by the monomial. In other words, the 3x to the 5th has to be divided by the 3x squared. The 18x to the 4th has to be divided by the 3x squared. And the minus 9x cubed has to be divided by the 3x squared. And then, now we can reduce each fraction made up of monomials. So now we can divide. 3 over 3 reduces out. And we're left with x to the, subtracting exponents, third power. 18 over 3 is 6, so we have plus 6. x to the, subtracting exponents, second power. And 9 over 3 reduces to 3, so we have minus 3x, subtracting exponents. Let's look at one more example where we divide each term by the monomial. We have 15a to the 6th minus 25a to the 5th plus 5a to the 4th, all divided by 5a to the 4th. So, we'll start dividing each term. 15a to the 6th over 5a to the 4th minus the 25a to the 5th is put over 5a to the 4th plus, finally, the 5a to the 4th is put over 5a to the 4th. And then we can go through and start reducing. 15 over 5 is 3. a to the, subtracting exponents, 6 minus 4 is 2. Minus 25 over 5 is 5. a to the, subtracting exponents, 5 minus 4 is 1. We don't really have to write the 1. Plus 5 over 5 is 1 a to the 4 over 4, I mean 4 minus 4 is 0, and anything to the 0 is just 1, so we're left with 1. Our final answer then from dividing by the monomial is 3a squared minus 5a plus 1. When we're dividing a monomial, or by a monomial, we must make sure we divide each term by that monomial.